Do you feel lost? There's something missing in your life. Are you struggling to find your purpose here on earth? And from a very young age, I felt this like really compelling push inside of me, something internal inside of me, always like pushing me around, almost as if it was bullying me in a way. I'm not happy. Am I really gonna just find a great wife, get married, have children, work until I'm 65, get a watch at retirement, and then that's it? Like, is, is that what I'm here for, really? And um, so the first day that I walked in to the church, um, I can remember just uh, the, the preacher got up and he, and he shared a word and I didn't understand any of it. It went way over my head. I was like, that makes no sense to me. I'm <laughs> going to go, you know, like, yeah. the, okay. And, um, but then the, the preacher said something really interesting. He said, if you want prayer, come line up here. I will pray for you. And I thought, well, sure. I let everybody pray for me. Prayer is good. Every, you know, I let any... Absolutely. Major worldview religion pray. Sure, come and pray for me. And um, so I'm, I'm and you got to remember, I know nothing about this culture. And I see people lining up and, and the preacher is going by and, and praying for people, saying prayers. And, and he gets to me <clears throat> and I feel like, okay, I'm just going to kind of catch my prayer, turn around and go home. And I kind of did my church experience. I'm good. You know, I understand this thing now. I know what's going on here. And during the, the times, um, I saw some people weeping and obviously feeling some kind of emotion. And, and I just felt like, you know what, that's a little too much for me. I'm not ready for that. So I'm going to just, you know, receive my prayer. But I also learned by observation. I saw some people, you know, opening their hands and closing their eyes. And I thought, oh, interesting. I'll try that too because I can adapt. In a, in a moving, active environment, I survive by adapting. So I'm going to do that too. And uh, his turn came where it was for me, where he uh, laid hands on me and prayed for me. And it was in that moment that I met God. So you were sharing with us about your experience at this church. Uh, you just walked in there? Yeah. And then uh, what happened? Yeah, I just walked in there and, and um, you know, he, he was going to pray for people. And, and I was like, yes, sure, you can pray for me. Why not? Why you not? Know, um, I'm a, I'm a modern world explorer. Sure, yes. I'll have my church experience. And sure. so he's going by and like, Add to the list of experiences. That's, that's exactly how I saw it. I was like, sure, I've experienced other faith. I've, ex you know, I, I, I've, I'm crazy. I'll try anything, you know? And so he's laying hands on people and I'm kind of looking down like, oh, okay, that's, that's weird. That's a little too much for me. Like I'm unfamiliar. This is unfamiliar, unknown. Territory. Nobody, I don't have a friend to hold my hand and say, <laughs> this is what's happening. You know, I, I didn't know those things. Okay. And, uh, but through observation, like I said, just being able to change in a moving environment, I looked down and so I closed my eyes and, and opened my hands and uh, the preacher went by and bam, bam, laid hands on me. And I, to be honest, I'm not really sure if I if he actually got his hand on me or not, I don't know. Okay. But uh, in that moment, um, I met God. And, now that's uh, a very interesting concept, yeah. right? So um, when people hear you say, I met God, mm -hmm. that's, that's a big loaded expression. Mm -hmm. Make, help us understand, what do you mean by that? You met God, how can people meet God? <laughs> you know what, that's a, it's a great question. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I, <clears throat> when I say I met God, this, this spirit started showing me things in my life 
that were so dear and so hidden that there is just no person I could have even verbalized to be able to make this stuff up. There's no way I could have explained it. It was too deep and too deep down inside of me to be able to, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm unbiased. I don't have how I see who I thought the Christian God was, was like, like I said, an old guy in the sky. I was more, much more interested in other worldviews, much more interested. I was it's not like I was cheering on, you know, the son of God, Jesus Christ. I wasn't, I was like, I met him and he showed me some things about my life and, and already like started making my broken heart become whole again. Mm -hmm. And uh, he showed me some things about other people in my life that were very dear to me, but it was a big, deep secret inside my heart. And uh, I felt like whatever this was, this God, and I didn't realize that at the time that it was God, I said, whatever this experience was, it's far bigger than me. It's far bigger than my ideology. It's far bigger than all of my world experiences put together. Something is happening here. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, I, and I remember just coming to that moment where I was like, what just happened to me? You gotta remember, I'm 25 years hardcore, searching out everything else. But the one thing that separated this experience from every other experience in every other country was that for the first time in my life, I started to feel there wasn't that burning, pushing sensation in my heart anymore. Mm -hmm. I started okay. to feel like, whoa, what's, what's happening inside of me? Something's happening, I wasn't ready for it. But I was out of ideas outside and I felt like I had really given a good, honest try in everything else and I ran out of ideas. Mm -hmm. I'm like, there's, what more is there to this life? And when that, that feeling that that almost like a warm hug have you ever sat on the beach and just felt like the waves come up on you and then go back down and come back up on you it was that's how i can describe how that feeling was for me because for so many years that pushing sensation had caused me to go all over the world and really go wholeheartedly at whatever life experience had to offer. Now, here's a question. Feelings, yes. we know, are not dependable. Yeah. You know, it could be the environment, it could be perhaps the music or something that yes. can invoke certain feelings, mm -hmm. right? You know, there is a science behind Absolutely. every type of music. But then they go away, mm -hmm. right? You change mm -hmm. the environment, feelings go away. Mm -hmm. uh, has, did that feeling go away for you? How do you know that this feeling was different from all other feelings? Thank you. Also, excellent question. So let me finish that part of the story and mm -hmm. then I will answer that question. Okay. So when I started asking myself, did this really happen? Is this real? And you got to remember, nobody's there explaining anything to me. This is self-discovery. I One of the things that God showed me, and at the time, I'm not even sure it's God, right? I'm pro trying to process everything, is that he gave me a scripture, a specific scripture in the book of Job. Now. I don't know scripture, so I don't really know if I'm making this up in my head. That's a, that's a real-time thought. Describe when you say, he gave me the scripture. What does that mean? I saw a, a, a picture, an image of a scripture, okay. of a specific name and, and chapter and verse. Okay. And I wasn't sure. Because I'm like, is that scripture? You never I don't read know. the Bible, so you didn't know I where didn't it came from. I didn't understand it. So I went and sat down, and I didn't know that people actually carried Bibles to churches. I don't, so I'm like, oh, a Bible. And so I grabbed this person's Bible, and I started flipping through. And this is all discovery. I'm like, is this for real? Is this really happened to me? And I flipped through, and I found the particular scripture mm -hmm. that I felt like God had given me. And that scripture was the concluding statement to everything that he showed me when he introduced himself. It was, it was the concluding statement to all that he had showed me, to mm -hmm. all the feelings and emotions that I had. He showed me himself through his spirit or what we call, I felt like at the time, emotions and feelings. And then it was the definitive and concluding statement to everything he had showed me. So he revealed himself to me by his spirit mm -hmm. and, and backed it up with his physical word what? written in the, in the Bible. And so for me, that feeling has, that experience that one day was enough for me that I still try to run with as much fervor and passion uh, about life and purpose and calling 
and, and pursue that wholeheartedly. And it's in, it's in, that, in that calling um, that I find happiness. It's in that calling that I find my life purpose. It's in that, you know, it's in answering that call that I almost feel like I stumbled into. Like it wasn't my intention, but that's the way that it went. And ever since that day, my life did a complete 180 and I don't have that, I haven't felt that, that empty void feeling in many years since I met God. All right, so that's a really incredible story. And we know that there is a purpose and a reason for all of this because God created us in His image. And when we read Genesis chapter 2, uh, we know that when God created Adam, He put in him His own breath. And that's that breath of God, that, that, that relationship uh, was severed because of Adam's disobedience. So it's that part of us that is always yearning for God. Mm -hmm. And we try and fill it with so many different, different things, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. it is that spirit connection mm -hmm. with God mm -hmm. that we truly are after, that gives us the purpose and the meaning that we are all looking for. Mm -hmm. Now there is somebody looking, uh, watching this program mm -hmm. and is struggling through the same issues as you, mm -hmm. and many people do. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell them? I'm glad you asked that. You know, if, if you have the breath of life in you, um, that breath of life came from something. And uh, it took me years to discover what my big picture purpose was. And uh, there, is, there is a reconciliation. There is a, there is a father. There is a God out there who is trying to bring you back to himself. And uh, he's removing all the barriers. My, my process um, was part of the purpose. And whatever um, struggles that you may find yourself in or whatever kind of low spots or whatever questions that you might have such that I had that say, you know, what is my purpose in life? Um, I encourage you to ex keep exploring and um, give, give God, Jesus Christ, a try because that was where I found my answer. And um, believe me, I had tried several other, as I, as I mentioned, I was out of ideas. I had, n I had nothing else. I was... I had become content because I was out of ideas. And um, so that, that process was part of our big picture purpose. And um, I know that if you have the breath of life, you also have a God-given purpose. He has a purpose and he has a plan. And I encourage you to explore that and give him a, give him a genuine, authentic try. All right, so Jason has also written a, an incredible book, and we're going to give you the details of that book. If you'd like to get your hands on that book, you can contact us on the number that is listed below, or we'll put you in touch directly with Jason. And it's an incredible book that will tell you about his journey, and maybe you can find your answers as you read that book. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for having yes. me. It was a pleasure. All right, don't go anywhere. We have lots more for you.